Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as Imperio Mexicano. And right now we are kind of waiting for a war to happen between Santa Ana and the Republic of the Rio Grande. Last time we took out our two brothers, Moctezuma, as well as Zapata, even though I, I guess I gave Satellite Graveyard to Petro Chico, who is currently getting attacked, even though they're winning, against Chuchin Itza, who is destroying Nueva Atlan. So the Chichen Itza will be pretty difficult to try to take out. So, let's continue playing. Why not? So in this episode, we're going to see these guys go to war with each other. And I'm going to see how well they do against each other. Because whoever's winning, I will declare war upon them. Because right now, we have available war goal from the Republic of the Rio Grande. And how long does it take to go to war with these people? Santa Ana. 125 days. I'm going to wait until the war actually begins before we actually do anything else. So, there we go. Uh, we could probably begin the scavenging program, but I do want to get some more daily uh, army XP. Land doctrine plus 7%, but this gives you plus cat, air, land, and naval doctrine plus 5%. So, see about that. Guerrilla tactics, more breakthrough, thank God. More organization. Mm, so, ooh, so all infantry motorized and mechanized soft attack. Hmm... Common energy, all infantry, motorized infantry. That uh, gives you more piercing up top. Uh, actually, gives you quite a bit more piercing than what says like eleven here. Well, seeing as the Brotherhood is taken out, I don't not really concerned about that. So let's go ahead and do infantry stuff. Get some more soft attack going. Since the Western Brotherhood of Steel is gone, all he has left is Washington Brotherhood in New Vegas. That really uses robots. Everyone else really doesn't. Right now, I'm kind of worried about my manpower, so I'm going to go ahead and cut down on the amount of infantry and robot divisions that we're making currently, just because I don't have all these areas cored, and I don't want to spend electricity to do this, because eventually, we can core that stuff once we get rid of uh, Pretenders to the Crown, Breaking the General, I activate Demand, Our Rightful Territories, and End of Human Sacrifice, all in the family, which is what we really want, so we can get those cores. And in the meantime, if I have to, I can always raise my conscription level to get to limited conscription. Right, Bink? And I'm, of course, joined here by my cat, Binky, who is basking in the sunlight. Right, Bink? Bink? Yeah. You like the sunlight. All right. The London Bank of Mexico. Maximilian let British financiers set up one of Mexico's first banks during his reign. Why not let everyone in Mexico store the money with Maximilian? In fact, why not force everyone to store it for their own good? Awesome. Uh, Carlota... I need Gloria, which is in the Republic of the Rio Grande. So we need, we really, really need to take out the Rio Grande. So we'll see what happens. Gloria is your name to Carlota. For us, though, currently, is there anything that will immediately give me more manpower? Because I'm, oh, oh, a new nobility. Hello there. That actually might be really good to do. <clears throat> Construct Imperial Highways. Ribbing. We gotta construct some Imperial Highways eventually. So, everything else here is okay. Oh, mo monthly population. Very nice. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Let's go ahead and do Promote an Officer core, So we get to the new nobility. So, how can we be an army if we don't have a systematic way to promote officers? Alright, and also, I'm, I am waiting for the war to happen because there will be a war happening because the Republic of the Rio Grande, okay, was doing the focus to take out Santa Ana. Down south here. Oh. Yeah, war goal. And Los Ejército Mexicano declared war on the Republic of the Rio Grande, which is fine with me. So let's see who wins. Or, actually, I can actually send volunteers, finally. We're play finally playing as a nation where I can actually send volunteers. Hmm. What is this strength like? 42 max, 30,000 manpower. You guys have a lot less manpower, but double the divisions. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start justifying on these guys. I want to make sure that no one is really winning here. Because they declared war. They did fight across the river. But I've seen it where Santa Ana does really well. So maybe I won't mind sending a few divisions to help out these guys over here. Uh, you know what? Send. I'm not going to send everyone to the north. Because I need some guys to defend my southern border. And yes, I can't reach this like I did my other guys. Whatever. But uh, we'll do this just in case... Petro Chico doesn't do well. And for you guys, I'm going to send you up north against here and take three of these divisions. 
and send him as a volunteer corps. Yeah, we definitely need more political power. So let's go ahead and send some volunteers because they definitely have less divisions. And I want to make sure that they can stand up against robot divisions if Santa Ana uses them. Nice. And this could be a good way for us to get more army XP too. Um, you know what? Go ahead and hold, detach from wherever airspace you're currently working at. Both of you come up here, that'd be good. And I really need some army leaders, obviously. Obviously. How much daily political power do we get? We get 1.2 political power a day. Awesome. We definitely need more support and combat robots, but that's probably because we've been making some, we need to make some more. Let's do that. We'll do that. Uh, we definitely need more rubber and... Not rubber. We need more metal as well as water. Uh, you can probably lower that by one. And then do that there. But yeah, a lot of the metals just need for our planes. That's really what's up. Awesome. Oh, actually, we have been doing a lot of infrastructure stuff, which is good. Flux layer still very good. Um, it doesn't reach all the way up north, so I'm going to actually build one there. And we're going to build one over here as well. Um, don't really need a lot of factories. We already have 84 civilian workshops. I think that's okay. So I'm going to do that. Go ahead and build two naval dockyards here. I think, that, I think that would work out pretty well for us. And then... Don't really need another military factory. So let's go and do that. We might need to trade that away someday. And when we're before we're done here, we're going to really just build up all this infrastructure. Because why not? Really, that's really the question. So, who's going to win here? It doesn't look like the Rio Grande has a lot of divisions on the border. So that is a little bit worrying. Because Santa Ana might be able to bust through this riverway. This Rio Grande River. Obviously, it would be the Rio Grande. What else could it be called? It's the Republic of the Rio Grande. And it's basically Texas's Texas southern river border. Nice. These guys are very up far north, which is fine for right now. I'm going to go ahead and station you back here just in case something bad happens. These are just preliminary precautionary forces. So that's really why I, what they're doing here. <clears throat> but I'm kind of surprised Santa Ana hasn't done too much else. But anyways, I have some coffee here and I'm going to drink a little bit of it. Oh, it looks like Santa Ana is attacking while the Republic of the Rio Grande is also attacking. Well, we'll see what happens after I justify. Maybe I'll go to war with both of them at the same time. Maybe we will have a three-way war. Now, that would be fun. In the south, we would probably win. Um, it's just... I've played this before, and Santa Ana usually comes out barreling through. You know what could happen? What if I decided to do this? I'm going to station my soldiers even further back. So this way, Santa Ana doesn't think I'm going to attack them anytime soon. And then they can move these forces up north so they can help break across the river a little bit better. Also... Uh, Kaiser is in a war against the NCR as well as New Vegas and the NCR Rangers. It looks like New Vegas, for their part, is doing pretty well. The NCR is doing fairly well, even though Kaiser is pushing back pretty nicely over here. So, something to keep out for. And I guess we have some other problems going on in Nevada up here or Utah, wherever this country is, country, state is. So, whatever. Um, freedom, the Free Fighters are doing okay against this cartel, I think. Yeah. Chichen it says struggling. They're actually struggling pretty well against Petro Chico, which is good to see. As well as Nueva Atzlan. Yeah, they're doing very, very well. What is going on? Are they using ro they must be using robots. Good manpower, good amount of divisions. Chichen it says quite a few divisions. Quite a good man about a manpower. Nueva Atzlan has a some divisions and an okayish manpower, so that's not bad either. New Reno declared war on Antelope Tribes. Not bad, not bad. Um since you bought Mark 1, great. Armor hardening, great. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Is there anything in industry that I could do? Oh, baby. Yeah, give me three-dimensional printers. I love 3D printers. I heard you can 3D print yourself guns if you like. If you like that type of stuff. Trier made, don't need that. Cool. I'm really surprised. That not much is really going on here. Who's... Heaven's Gate declared war on the Murtaz. Um, New Reno. Where, where are these guys? Ah, oh, here it is. So, 300, 400 some. Alright, not bad, not bad so far. Just a little disappointed that... Oh! Okay! Republic of the Rio Grande? You declared war on these guys, but you can't even reach them. Um, are we drawing alliances here or something? Oh! <gasps> They're in the Rio Pact. Ooh, now that's interesting. I did not see that, or not think that would happen anytime soon, but yeah, it looks like no one can actually win, which is a little disappointing. So, if anything, I might just go to war with both in the end. 
through an officer core. I just want to see what will happen. Ooh, yeah. With a new nobility, it's time to, de to declare a new nobility for Mexico. Our greatest heroes will be rewarded with land, titles, and commissary notes. And we get... Oh, uh, yeah, I could really use that army XP, actually. Could really, really use that army XP. Okay. Pretty good manpower. I love it. I love it. We could get more immigrants. Get more manpower. But we'll see what happens first. Come on, guys. Let's... Someone get over the river. Come on. This is very annoying. Uh, these guys... They're running out of manpower. They still have quite a bit left. These guys have quite a bit less manpower too, though. Or maybe not quite a bit less. I can't remember. Oh! Oh no! Here comes Chichen Itza with the encirclement of Mexico's history. Holy crap. If they can take one more province. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they still have a port, but oh my goodness. Now that is a thick push up north. Northeast, really. Um, we can't build a brig because, well, we can't. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, we can't build any of this stuff because we need more supplies. We need more resources. But what else is new? That is kind of scary. I would be very worried. Oh, no. Oh, hopefully they can support each other using boats or support the, their forces using boats. Precision motors, a Sultron. All the stuff I can't do yet, which is fine. Engineering stuff. Research speed. Reinforce rate. Good. Camelot survivalists declared war on the Whistler Nomads up in Alaska. For a second there, I thought someone took a position here. If anything, if the Rio Grande can crush enough of these enemy divisions well enough, and they can actually push into the point where the Rio Grande is about to capitulate uh, this enemy nation of Santa Ana, then I will go to war with both. I will absolutely go to war with both and s come in and s take everything out. Where the dogs play war on the Iron Alliance. Cool. Uh, yeah. How's this going? Eh, it looks like the NCR push has definitely stalled out a little bit. As well as Kaisar's. What, what are the casualties like for both of these nations? Um, oh, here we are. 23,000 versus 14,000. Holy crap, NCR's lost a lot of guys. Uh, that's still not a bad amount of band power. They got a lot of divisions, but Kaisar's definitely less divisions, actually. New Vegas, running out of manpower, which is good for the uh, Kaisar and the NCR Rangers. They're just kind of hanging out. Cool. I've got enough of this for me to go with Cat Air Doctrine, Cat Land Doctrine. That's plus 7%, plus 5%. Well, I still need to do Land and Naval Doctrine, or Air and Naval Doctrine, so I'm going to do this one. Ah, oh, I gotta love some coffee. And we, now we can get some more daily army XP, because I really could use that. Come on, guys. Let's give me something here. Like... I want to go to war with both of you, but I want to make sure... Holy crap! Petro... Oh my goodness! Yeah, once we go to war with these guys, this is going to be all lost. Um... You know what? Just in case, I'm going to make sure I call an audible here. And uh, make sure our southern border is sufficiently guarded. Poor, 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 poor Petro uh, Chico. Come on, guys. Let something happen here. Oh, they actually have the volunteers from the Vice, Roy Vice Royalty. Yeah, nothing's really going on here. That's really kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. Um, Volunteers. Can I send volunteers to you guys? Because I want to make sure Chichen Itza doesn't become too strong. No, I cannot. We've already sent volunteer forces to or received air permission from the enemy of... Oh, they're fighting these guys as well. Okay. Warrior equipment... Yeah, let's get that. That'll definitely help us out. Come on. Oh my goodness. This is taking a while. This usually doesn't happen. Or at least the one time that I did try it, this didn't happen. Oh my goodness, that is dangerously close. I hate how both of these nations have very similar casualties. This is not good. Hmm... I also have to think about the time. What is Chichen Itza going to do against me? Like, if they go to war with me. Ooh, new nobility. Nice, more manpower. That's great. Ep oh, Repcon testing. Repcon tested some of the prototypes in Mexico before the war. Imperial Mexicano can study these for new ideas. So we get more production costs or better production costs on both types of robots. Great stuff, my friends. Oh, look at that army XP. Yes. Good idea. We got 20 combat width. We got some fire teams. We got some recon. Throw on some cams. Throw on some logistics. 
And finally, anti-tank will be very necessary in the future, probably. And both these hurt us, so we're not going to do that yet. <clears throat> Soltrons. Go ahead. Dynamite might be okay for now to do, actually. I don't think I'm going to fight too much... Too many enemies that have a lot of armor, so let's go with dynamite this time. Dynamite. Oh my goodness. Hmm... Even against the border, they're really stacked up against us fairly well. Now, we can go to war with Santa Ana, which will be fine, probably, because he's not extremely strong. Nathaniel Law, looks good. We should be able to hold at least in the this portion here. Down here, it's a really uh, mixed game, not going to lie. Really mixed. Hmm... Come on, guys, just do something. If I can't. Hmm, hmm. One division for each. I don't think they should be able to pierce me. They don't have a ton of divisions up here. I think we've waited more than... that. Oh, God, that's not good. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, we have divisions in their territory. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I sent them divisions, and... Uh... I can't go to war. I thought I could go to war at the same time and do that, because you can do that in vanilla Hoi 4. <clears throat> but uh, you can't do that right now, which kind of sucks. And this is scary as all heck. So, what we could do is crush Santa Ana first, and then go to war with the Rio Grande, because that might be the easiest thing for us to do. So, and that way I can get my divisions back. If we're going to push hard, I'm going to have to push from the south. I think that'd probably be for the best. But what about the north? What's the supply like in the north? Oh, the supply is great in the north. Screw that. Just take out the north. We're going to take out Santa Ana first. Calling an audible here. He's a mountaineer. Good. Anyone have upgrades? Obviously not. Up here. Cyrus Maxi. Well, I don't definitely don't want to put you in a general spot if you have minus 25% leader experience gain. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, so we're getting up, we're gearing, re getting ready for war against Santa Ana, because they are probably running out of manpower. Eh, they're doing okay with manpower, supplies. They're doing okay. So we're gonna break out of here first. Want to make sure everyone, or at least most of the divisions, have enough speed, and we need to go to war by April twenty-third, which is fine. Hope our southern border will be okay. I really hope it will. Where are you guys at? You guys are settling. Good. Go ahead when you can. Three, two. Before I forget, planes. Um, actually, probably best if you guys come down here. Uh, yeah, that's much better. Oh, we actually almost have a hundred cl close air support planes. Nice. Another division. Throw you up here. Let's go to war. The last of the brothers shall be taken out. Oh, they can't really do very much against us. We can't pierce them, but they can't pierce us, which is phenomenal. Look at that energy cell usage. Oof. Just guard the southern ports around here. Oh, actually. Um, I don't remember you. I don't remember telling him to attack. But okay. Sure, whatever. No one can pierce each other, which is fine. Which is totally, totally fine. And, oh, good, my divisions came back. Or, they're on their way back, which is good. I really thought the Santa Ana would be able to push straight up into the Rio Grande. But, you know, whatever. Losses. Um, not too many losses for us yet. For them, we suck. Wow. We've actually killed 1.8 thousand of them. More than the Rio Grande has already. Nice, better reliability. Good stuff. What is this? Production cap growth, dockyard output. Thank you. Three-dimensional printers. Thank you very much. That is quite a while away. Construction speed. Thank you very much. And we're back down here. Go ahead and throw you over here. Make Turn you into a general. John Johnson. That would be lovely. Give him offensive so we can get some more, a little bit more attack. And these guys will perish eventually. As long as we can get to Reynosa. Because it is us who is achieving this. Not the Republic of the Rio Grande. They are barely doing anything. 
Oh, we are not doing well up here. They, we are trying to attack a lot of divisions in a single spot, so... Uh, we can still reach them. We can still reach them using our air support, which is good. Uh, maybe build up a single air base up there. That might help us. You can probably push in this way. That'll probably be okay. Uh, send one division that way. Don't really want to use my infantry against robots who have, you know, no anti-tank on them, or very little piercing. Take four, learn slip weight, rep contesting, very nice. Um, next up, drain the Mexico Valley. That would make everyone like us more. We get less supply consumption, which would be great. So, since the Great War, the Valley of Mexico has been a malarial... Uh, Swampland, centuries of improvements gone to seed. It's time to fix that. Please report to your nearest rook site. Thank you very much. Yeah, go ahead and try to help these guys out here. Because we can get four lore and slipway. That would be great. It's more than good. It's great. Um, anything else we can do here? No, not really. Yes, please, daddy. Yes. Oh, yeah, you guys are kind of hanging on there. Oh, yeah, you definitely don't want to attack that way. You guys... Go ahead. We should be okay. Yeah, those motorcycles can't really pierce too much. Awesome. Well, they're not very close to even capitulating. They've lost 6,000 people. We've lost 83, which is great so far. And after this war is over, we're going to make sure we have a quick peace deal, and then I'm going to strike straight up to the uh, Republic of the Rio Grande. They must be taken out. Please take some land. That would be great. How is this war going? Oh, Kaiser's going to lose this war. They are definitely going to lose this war. Uh, it's digital data links. Research speed would be nice, but let's get some more decryption. That would be phenomenal. Common weaponry, good. That's a little bit ahead of time. Organization, platoon armor, vehicles, support equipment. Uh, ooh, fire team reliability, sure, why not? We can always use that. Basic weaponry, well, I prefer common weaponry. Good, let the robots are doing a great job up north. We've only lost almost 200, and they, well, they've lost about 7,000 in total. They can't pierce us. This is great. Go and push in. We definitely need Reynosa. Yeah, we're definitely attacking in the south. I'm just a little worried about these guys down here. Because... Exploit the remnants. Manpower. A lot of divisions. Hmm. I am definitely a little worried. Exploit the remnants. Ooh, drain the valley of Mexico. Oh, now a core. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, baby. Assembly of the Notables. That might be good to do. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Many in Mexico forgot the nation's great history, but Maximilian remembers the proud citizens of the Tol Toltecs, the fierce struggles of the War of Independence, and the willingness of Mexi Mexicans to stand up against Yanqui invasions. He can, be he can remind the peoples of Mexico of their shared history, even if, for some reason, they do not want to be ruled by an immortal AI. Which everyone should like us a little bit more. And we have dynamite. Yes, daddy. Ooh, flamer or frag grenades? Oh, baby. So, grenades give you more soft attack. More piercing, costs less to produce, a little bit less breakthrough, same heart attack, but less reliability. Interesting. Uh, let's pause it real quick. I want to take a quick look. Heavy incinerator versus grenade machine gun. Jesus Christ. Uh, it gives you slightly more soft attack, more piercing, slightly better to produce, slightly less reliable, same that, and a little bit more breakthrough on the left. Um, that will determine... Whether what these do soft attack and hard attack, reliability, hard attack, and piercing. I'm not really focused on piercing too much for my infantry anymore, so really it's more about soft attack. So I'm gonna go down with frag grenades, those sound like fun. And yes, we will definitely need a factory for these granatas or dynamites. Great, hmm. 
And there goes my coffee. Oh, BB. He's just such a thick animal. So thick. Oh, expel the Rift Raff. Well, I don't want to do that during war right now. You know, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> Ask the nation we are attacking for more immigrants. That would certainly be a different type of play. Bring in more immigrants from... Nice royalty. I mean, it's only 300 manpower. That's not a huge amount by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, we took Reynosa, it looks like. We need La Pesca next. We have... Wow, we've killed so many enemies. 7.7 thousand? Jesus. Go ahead and help take them out. These guys can't really do very much. The people in the south really need to... Uh, push a little harder right now, because I want to finish this war up and start the next war by the end of this episode. Good. We're doing a great job. Expel the Rift Raft. Ah, you know what? We could use more stability, right? And we can afford it. And this... Expelling, expelling the Rift Raft will always give you more um, stability in the end anyways. So. Nice. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. Um, well, since... It was really only me that did everything here. It's only fair that I take everything, you know. Because the Rio Grande couldn't do anything when I was trying to push. So. And now we've, I've got to reorganize some of this. So. You guys in the north, you all protect the border. You guys will help push. So we need one, two, three, four. I really hope I don't get attacked in the south. I really, really hope I don't. Uh, you should be able to cover both sides there. And then right there as well. Yeah, that's right. I'm using almost exclusively robots to attack the Republic of the Rio Grande, as well as their Texas puppet. So, this is terrifying. Um. God, I hope we got enough forts. Oh my god. God, I'm not going to be able to hold it against that if they go to war with us. Oh my goodness. Two, three. Do it right there. But hey, at least we get some more factories we can use. Maybe some resources. Some more people, perhaps. You never know. Good, right there. Yeah, good, good. Oh. We got three more divisions, which actually I might just expand how many divisions we're making at one time now again. Oh, this is not good. You know what? Instead of that, give me two. Put you on here. Give me one more, and I will definitely put you right there. Nice. Some more f military factories. That's good. Expand that. Expand that. Expand that. Um, dockyards. If anything, we can always build more convoys. Yeah, go ahead and add these back on. We have a little bit more manpower right now, so I feel okay about that. Good. Begin a scavenging program, because why not? Guardia. Yeah, go ahead and throw in some demolition. Doesn't give you a lot more soft attack. Well, actually, quite a bit less than I thought it would. But, uh... Whatever. You know, whatever. Cool. Let our guys get situated. And the Republic of the Rio Grande will be... a. We will be at war with them very, very soon. They got a lot more manpower than we do. They're going to use quite a few more divisions than us. But we'll see what happens. Nice. Supply consumption goes down. Expanding cultivation. Assembly of the notables. Civilian factory increase. Helping our helpers. Robotics. Well, friends of the tribe. Ah, let's do that one. Friends of the tribes, historic Maximilian was proud, even at his execution for his care of the native peoples of Mexico. Maximilian is also happy to act as a great father, in return they will serve him in war. Yes, they will, my Maximilian daddy. Alright, so just in case things go south, go ahead and throw at least level 1 forts all across this northern border. Because you never know if you might need them. You never know. And it shouldn't take that long to build until like we got a few weeks. So that's good. Oh, and yeah, we're definitely going to have to build a massive amount of forts down here. Like that. This is scary. Fighting these guys will be probably a little difficult if they do not go to, if they go to war with us. If they go to war with us. All right. 
what do we need? We definitely need more combat robots. Do that. Um, you could probably lower that by one first. Help this guy out. Yeah, definitely need more of those guys. Hopefully they will be attacking us early on. There's no guarantee for that. But I do want to see what will happen if we go to war with them right now to a degree. Um, give me a few more days. I know we're about halfway, or uh, we're at the half hour mark. But I just want to see what will happen. Let's, let's get some forts on this area first, and then we'll see what happens. If I have to pull up divisions from the south, so be it. That's fine with me. But I really want to see what will happen. Ooh, an extra robot. Nice. That's good. You guys are over here. You actually might be able to push through the river, depending on what happens. But we do have air support. We actually have air support, which is really, really nice. I'm going to focus on this area up here, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we actually have even more planes than I thought. Yeah, definitely help the area up here when we're going to attack over the river, because that's going to be a pain in the booty. Cooling jacket, nice, awesome. Mini guns? Oh, I can't do that yet, but soon. Soon. Um, logistics. This would be important. This is important to do. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, give me about three seconds. Alright, I lied. It's not been three seconds. But let's do it anyways and see what happens. So, the Republic of the Rio Grande is guaranteeing the independence of other nations, but they're not guaranteeing the independence of any... No one's guaranteeing the independence of the Rio Grande. Which is good. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, let's see what happens just for a little bit, and no one's going to war with us. Cool. I doubt we can actually attack successfully through here, but let's see what happens. I really doubt that we can, but you know what? We're using robots, and they are not. If we can get these soldiers across the river, that'll be probably be the best thing for us. They're not attacking us anywhere else. We definitely have some air support from our planes. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is going to work out well for us. Come on. And immediately attack that way. I want the 14 Division Army to actually do that. Panzer Expert, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, that's so good. That is so good. Losses, 7 versus 212. Awesome. Immediately attack that way. I want to get across this river as fast as possible. Oh, and we're actually losing in some key areas over here. Alright. Um, that's not good. Give them last stand. Actually, that's a, that was a probably a bad idea to do. Because they will actually kill your divisions if they can't win. Um, I could call divisions from the south. Hmm. I, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do this. So. I'm going to have to call an audible before we end here today. Do that. Do that. Put him under a new general. Do that. Immediately head up north to help him out. Um, anything else? We have made it. We have made it across the river, guys. Do this, and we're going to push very hard in this area. So, but we'll do that tomorrow, guys. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We took out the last of our stinking brothers. Santa Ana has been defeated, and we will take out the last remaining democracy within the former nation of Mexico. Uh, so, and we will have a great time tomorrow when we'll probably end up in a war with Chichen Itza, because they are huge, they are terrifying, and uh, they probably do a lot of human sacrifice. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord. Uh, say hi to me if you join, and like I said, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.